Hello, my cognizant concerned citizens. My name is Heather, and welcome once again to the Mythros channel. In this video, we will be continuing our discussion about hemp. So, textile processing. Now we come to the real reason I've stuck my nose into the business of hemp, textiles. Glorious, glorious textiles. Like this. Or like this. To get hemp from a plant in the ground to something you can wear is a very labor intensive process and this is actually where hemp loses a lot of ground in the race to be the most eco-friendly textile or just more eco-friendly than cotton. There are many steps in this process but the two with the most negative environmental impact are called redding and degumming or cottonization. So redding, what is it? Redding is the process of allowing naturally occurring microorganisms or forcing added acids and bases or enzymes to break down the pectin that binds the fibers on the outside of the stalk to the woody bast fiber inside. Allowing this process to happen naturally is called dew redding. This consists of just letting the harvested hemp lay in the field right where it was cut down. And this is the most eco-friendly way to do this step. This process can also be done in tanks or vats of water called water redding. This requires heating up the water to 30 degrees for five to six days. Of course, this consumes a lot of energy and results in water which must be treated before it can be used as fertilizer. In China and Europe, apparently this process is no longer favored and dew redding is actually what they use. A third way to do this is called chemical redding. I have no idea what's involved in that. I just assume from the name that it is the least environmentally friendly option. For most hemp products, the natural redding process is a viable option, especially in places that are not excessively dry. For hemp textiles, however, for which longer and more consistent fibers are required, this may not be ideal. It is possible that the hemp we get from China is not dew redded and therefore less environmentally friendly. Degumming or cottonization. This process is to remove the pectin and lingon from the fibers by boiling them in an alkaline solution. This process is apparently neither economical nor ecological and is largely the reason why hemp is not yet the savior of the fashion world. The next three steps are called breaking, scutching, and hackling. These steps separate the fiber from the woody core and prepare it for spinning. And then of course we have spinning and weaving, which is done like any other fiber. This process has many variables in it and can take many different paths. It is therefore a lot harder to pin down hemp textiles impact on the environment than some people would have you believe. Also, China is notoriously non-transparent about their business and environmental practices, making it even harder to discern this textile's environmental impact. Textile property. Many sites that sell hemp products claim that it protects from UV rays and has antibacterial properties. I checked their sources on this and while it may be true, it's highly exaggerated and not really worth mentioning. It would be nice if clothes had some kind of antibacterial property that meant no matter how long you wear them or how much you sweat in them, they didn't get stinky. But this, I'm pretty sure, is a fantasy. Hemp is absorbent, like cotton. Hemp is strong and durable. They say it has long fibers so it does not break down easier. It's three times stronger than cotton, although I don't know how they measured that. It wears in and not out, and it doesn't pill. In my experience, it pills a little bit at the beginning, but then not anymore. And if it is stronger because it has longer fibers, that makes me very skeptical that the natural redding process was used. There are claims that it does not shrink. I'm not sure. It's light and breathable which I know to be true. It's soft, this is also true. It's not the softest fabric, it's definitely soft enough to use as clothing nowadays, but it's not the softest fabric. And it's easy to dye, which I can also attest to. Being easy to dye is a big deal when it comes to environmental impact, because dyeing uses a lot of water and chemicals and ends up with a lot of wastewater full of chemicals. We'll talk about that in another video. Overall environmental impact. I do believe hemp has the potential to help the textile and garment industries lower their environmental impact, but it would require a couple things. Using renewable or green energy for mechanical parts of processing, improving the tech in the degumming process to eliminate chemical waste, and avoiding chemical redding. For now, transporting it from China means that it's not really any better than organic cotton grown in North America. 
But no one talks about whether or not you can use the same crop of hemp for multiple purposes. Like if you could use the seeds for food or CBD oil, the fiber for textiles, and the woody core for building materials. If you could get all of those things out of one field each time it grows, which we know in an ideal climate could be four times a year, that must put it miles ahead of cotton. There's nothing else you can do with the cotton plant. It grows the fiber and then you spin it. If it's possible to use the same harvest of hemp for multiple purposes, one decent sized hemp farm could produce all kinds of things like food, medicine, textiles, building supplies, biofuel, plastic alternatives, and the list goes on. Really, the professor on Gilligan's Island should have had hemp, not coconuts. It would have made so much more sense. In conclusion, hemp is a wonders plant with many possibilities which I'm sure will be explored and brought to market in the near future as we look for ways to make our lives more compatible with our home planet. But let's be real, it's not a cure-all to climate change. And although hemp fabric is currently considered more eco-friendly than organic cotton, the margin is very small. Hopefully, those who are researching to improve the processing of hemp into a textile will someday be able to give us the holy grail of fashion, a versatile and eco-friendly textile. But for now, the solution remains the same. Buy less. And remember, you can always slow down your consumption or become your own quality control by learning to sew with me here on this channel or checking out my website for some original design sewing patterns. So have you used hemp textiles or clothing before? What was your experience with them? Let me know in the comments. Join me for more videos in the future by clicking the subscribe button and let me know if you like this one by clicking the like button. Thanks for watching and sew you later. Oh, my God. Oh.